Hi, and welcome to another edition of Inside Jayco. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to take a behind the scenes look at Jayco's exclusive Magnum Truss Roof System. Built with durability in mind, our roof is as much as 50% stronger than our competitors' roofs. With us today is Dave Turner, our Chief Corporate Engineer. Dave's going to talk a little bit about the Magnum roof and tell us about some of the testing that we've also done on our roof versus the competition. So Dave, how is it that we can say our roof is so much stronger? Well, John, we took one of our quality built roofs and one of our competitors' roofs and subjected them to extensive testing to see how they would stack up against each other. In the end, our roof was more than 50% stronger. So what are some of the things that contribute to the strength of the roof? During the construction process, we screw down the 3 8 roof decking at each seam, which creates a more firmly secured structure, reducing the chance of fasteners coming loose and puncturing the rubber roof material. Our competitors staple their decking, which is not as strong or reliable as Jayco screwed construction, and increases the chance for problems to occur over time. Jayco uses oversized nail plate joint fasteners on both sides of the trusses, making for a much tighter truss with less chance of movement. The competition uses smaller nail plates and in most places only uses them on one side of the truss, increasing the likelihood that the roof will flex. The Magnum Truss roof system uses 2x2 two two vertical studs, which are strategically placed to maximize load capacity. Nail plates are also used on both sides of the vertical stud to further enhance strength. A one inch piece of aluminum is used as a competitor's vertical support, which provides less strength in important areas. At Jayco, our 2x2 two two vertical studs provide more room to run wiring through, greatly reducing the risk of electrical shorts. With the one inch aluminum pieces and their sharp edges, our competitor's roofs are more likely to have electrical issues. Above our slide-out rooms, we use 7-inch header beams, which are also used in home construction as load-bearing beams. Our competitors use a 2x6 piece of lumber, which creates a weaker 5.5-inch beam. Well, Dave, the differences seem obvious. Can you tell us a little bit more about the testing that confirmed Jayco's superior strength? We ran a test that compared an 8-foot by 16-foot Jayco roof with slide-out openings and headers to a competitor's roof of the same size. During this test, we placed 36-pound cement blocks on top of each roof to compare deflections. With a static load of 1,152 pounds, the center of the Jayco roof deflected slightly more than 3 8 of an inch while the competitor's roof deflected 7 8 of an inch, 100% more than the Jayco roof. At 3,456 pounds, the Jayco roof deflected slightly more than 1 inch. The competitor's roof deflected 800% more to nearly 10 inches. With 3,456 pounds on the competitor's roof, the header beam started to split from one end, horizontally along the grain direction. At this static load amount, the Jayco sidewall header beam had only deflected one half inch at the center. The competitor's roof collapsed at 4,608 pounds. At that point, the center of the Jayco Magnum Truss roof had only deflected an inch and a quarter. At the end of our test, we'd shown that Jayco's exclusive Magnum Truss roof system construction withstood a 50% heavier load than the competition. This strength translates into durability and as a result of superior quality construction. Well, there's your inside look at Jayco's Magnum Truss roof system. At Jayco, we pride ourselves on always using top quality materials and innovative manufacturing techniques. It's our way of ensuring long lasting durability for our customers. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Inside Jayco. We hope you learned something. We hope you'll be back soon.